Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I have some interesting things to talk about today. A staff member handed me her phone with a picture like this. This was a relative of hers who actually was told by his dentist that he thought he had leukemia and should see his doctors about leukemia. I actually have seen patients with leukemia whose tissues did look like that. Now, in my opinion, that picture, and you'll be able to see more of it, that picture is probably due to poor home care. If you look closely, you will see that there is debris around the teeth, and it looks like the teeth just haven't been cleaned, floss hasn't been used, and that's probably the reason why that tissue is swollen, red, and enlarged. But I've also seen tissue that looks just like that in patients who do have leukemia. So does the patient have leukemia? Probably not. Is there a chance? A chance. My estimate would be maybe a 2% chance that that patient has leukemia. But another reason that the patient might have leukemia is because that patient has been exposed to hazardous vapors. Hazardous vapors actually can contribute to various blood cancers and leukemia, of course, is one of those. So, you know, maybe. But I think the first thing he should do is get his mouth clean, floss, get a good thorough cleaning, and then I would expect that tissue to go down and look relatively normal and the bleeding to stop. Of course, if it doesn't, then he really should get a checkup. But you know, we see a lot of, a lot of diseases manifest in the mouth, in the oral cavity. Anemia, for instance. If one has anemia, very often the gums are very pale and kind of thin uh, because the blood supply is not normal. If we see a patient who's got very advanced gum disease, we very often will suspect diabetes. Even if the patient doesn't know it, we may suggest that that patient see a, their physician because diabetes and gum disease are very closely related. If one has diabetes, you're much more likely to have severe gum disease. And severe gum disease is one of the factors that causes and can actually contribute to diabetes, of course we see things like oral cancer in the mouth. Is that cancer a secondary uh, a lesion from a primary source? Well, we don't know. It's possible. Most of the time it's not, but oral cancer obviously is another s disease that we see manifested in the oral cavity. Also, cases of bulimia, we see manifestations of that in the mouth patients may purge. When they purge, the acid in that vomitus actually dissolves tooth structure and causes weak, thin enamel. There are a number of other diseases they may, that may manifest in the mouth. And of course, if your mouth isn't healthy, it will contribute to other diseases throughout your body. I can think of almost no systemic disease that isn't made worse, linked to, or affected by an unhealthy mouth. So just remember, keep your mouth healthy. It is more important than you may even realize. If your mouth is healthy, your body will definitely be healthier. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, have a great, great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.